internet and www that is world wide web are the terms we use interchangeably we may use www for internet and internet for www but there is a difference between these two terms what is the difference internet is nothing but a network so these are different types of networks lan wan man etc so internet is a wan wide area network it is a network of networks how it is called network of networks here the networks can be different uh, lans different uh, wans or even pans personal area networks and so that different networks connected together form the internet <coughs> so when does this internet came to be it came to wide use in 1980s so in 1980s this internet became popular so how does this internet works it will uses address for different systems connected to it and this address are called ip address internet protocol address so using this address like uh, the mail service we are using in the physical world that is how we will be having a unique address like that using the address of different devices in the network this network of network works then what is this www www is actually a program it is a program so it is a software and it is a software working on this www so this is nothing but a software and internet is essentially hardware so this software runs on www and it will implement the hypertext protocol program which implement hypertext or hyper -media. So what is hypertext and hypermedia? We saw before. Hypertext is the text. Text is simply a string of words which contains a link. So that that link will lead to a web resource. Web resource can be a web page or web uh, post where that text is stored. So this hypertext contains a link. I'll say in the way hypermedia contains a link which will lead us to that resource. So, implementing this hypertext is www works. That means www works with the different connections. It works in the similar way the human mind is working. Human mind works with the connections. When we see something, we will remember something else like that. There is a connection between our thinking. So, using this different links, the resources in the network is connected and this www W manages data connections and presents the data we need. So, how this connection is possible? We know we use a protocol called HTTP, that is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So, it determines how two systems are communicating with each other. Let us explain through some examples. Imagine that you are sitting here with your PC and you are searching for ICT in our website. It is www.ies general studies .com. So you want to see your ICT article here. So you will type ICT in the search column. Right. So this is the client. The client means the uh, client he, here means the browser you are using. Say you are using the Chrome browser and you are typing ICT in it. So here is the client here. And this request, request from the client will go to the server. And where is the server? Server is another system where our website is hosted. This is a web hosting server. 
and here we will be having different web application. So here one web application is the search function. So this the web application will do the search function. So this request will come to this web application that is searching for that particular word ICD. So here is the server. How this client and the server is communicating with each other? It will communicate using this protocol, hypertest transfer protocol, so that the different system will recognize what the client is asking and the server will send back what the client needs. So that the server application will search for the word ICT and it will fetch ICT from the page we are saved here in the server. So it will take that content and send it back and that page will be displayed here. This is how the WW works. So it works on a client server model. So here there is a communication between these two systems, right? The client and the server. How they communicate? They will communicate using this protocol. So this protocol defines how, how to take the data, how to find the resources and how to present the resources, how to transfer the resources. Like this thing, this protocol will handle <coughs> so that it can deliver the pages. So this page will be written on the language HTML. HTML is the hypertext markup language which is used to code all the web, resource, uh, web pages. So this page will be stored in the HTML language and this HTML language will be retrieved. And the system here identifies the HTML language and the different tags used in the HTML and according to the ta tags it interpret and it display in a beautiful format so that you can enjoy reading the article. So this is how the WW works. So this HTML can be otherwise called as application protocol. Because it is a request response protocol. So it works on an application layer. Application layer is the layer where the user can also use the uh, internet, right? So this application has user interface and it is also called as request response protocol. So this forms the foundation of the data communication in WWW. How different data is transferred over the net. So this is the foundation. HTTP is the foundation for data communication in WWW. So it works on a client server model. So WWW is nothing but the implementation of this hypertext using different protocols. So how this uh, web, uh, we saw that how the WW is work. Now let us see the architecture. Architecture is how this is done. See here we have client and here is the net network. So this network is having different links, different connections, different links, different devices, so as to maintain the network. And there, in another end, there will be a server. And there will be another database also. There can be. There may not be, but there can be. So this client. It is essentially a, can be a web browser that we are using. For example, Google Chrome, and it will send a HTTP request. 
So this HTTP request will travel through this network and reach the server. And this request will reach the server. And this server, if it can provide data service, it will provide. And if it is like uh, some data, driving some data, it will go to the database. There are different database management systems to manage this function. And from this database, it will receive a data back. And this data back, uh, retrieved data will be given back. That will be a file. How the file is stored in the database? It will be stored in the HTML format. So this HTML file will be written by the server. Then again, it will travel to the network and reach back the client. So here, HTML file will reach back. And the client, this browser, display the HTML file for the user. So what are the functions of this web browser? So it is a program. The browser is also a program. So what does it do? It displays HTML file to a user-readable format. So this HTML is both machine readable and human readable, but it will be not formatted, not will not be beautiful. It will be it, it, it is not in a very uh, pleasing manner, not arranged in a very pleasing manner. That is every fonts will be same and uh, there won't be classifications like a heading and all. So but using the tags in the HTML file it will displays in a user readable format. So this is the function of the browser. And what are the other functions? It can execute certain programs also. So for example, if the file itself is embedded with certain programs, what is that we will be having certain Java scripts. Java scripts embedded within this file so that the web browser can execute the script so it can be a media or audio um, audio file so we can hear the voice and we can see the display when the browser executes the java scripts another example is flash you will use, usually see this message right you know, for asking to install the flash plugins so this browser can execute such scripts which is embedded within that text so what what are these uh, scripts doing it can uh, have a visual and audio effect and also it can display animations so these are the main two functions done by the web browser And uh, we saw that we use hypertext for uh, requesting the resources. How this hypertext is correctly going and locating this resource? So there are different ways of addressing. There should be an address. Otherwise, how it will find the correct resource? This addressing is done by the, the uh, different addressing systems. And on such is the URL. URL is universal. resource located so this is the reference usually we will type url right what is the url for example http slash www dot ies general studies.com slash ict.htm so this is an example of URL so this URL specifies the protocol 
it is the protocol you used to use communicate in the net so it will indicate the client and the server to which uh, what are the rules you have to follow in the net of communication this is the protocol and what is this ideas general settings dot com it is the host name so where this resource is located it is the name and what is the we are asking for we are asking for a particular file right we are searching for icd so this is the file name you have to retrieve so this is a url so it is specifies the location this uh, specifies the location where it is and it, uh, it is uh, specifies the mechanism how to retrieve the data you should use this protocol to retrieve the data and so that uh, the web browser uh, this web services can locate this resources so this url comes under a, the common term of uniform resource identifier so uniform resource identifier is a larger term and uniform resource locator comes under a sub category of this uniform resource identifier so most commonly used in uniform resource identifier in the world wide web is url that is you know, url that is uniform resource locate for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com